I'm gonna make a turtle from open computers. Because I wanna try it out. Um, did I make the right turtle? Because I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Um, I can't access it, it's not working. You know, these things are called turtles, right? So, why aren't these working? <laughs> so dumb. I had to do it, okay? Alright, hello everybody, my name is Dude Man, and welcome back to some more space astronomy. And my god, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh my god. Alright, so, anyways, <laughs> I am so tired. Anyways, um, where's that? Chemical turtle, okay. So this is actually a take two because apparently my computer completely took crap went on itself because, you know, I just wanted to. It just decided to, uh, just fail to work for me. So, gotta kind of get a new computer. I think it's so old. Yeah, it, it was just like running insanely slow. It just wouldn't respond to anything. So I had to restart, the, restart my computer while I was recording. So I lost everything the first time. So. Anyway, so pretty much we're going to get started on trying to get closer to space. So uh, I accidentally did this one off camera when I was supposed to do it on camera, but I, whatever, I was still irritated during the time. So uh, I did that. It's pretty easy. Just make the equipment here and there, and there we go. So during the time of the rec last recording, I actually made some of these machines here. Uh... I even, I still don't understand why the mod creator decided to put the power input, or whatever you want to call it, on the side of the freaking, of the side of the machines from Galactic Core. It's so dumb. I hate it. So dumb. So, whatever, I can, I can just work around it. So, no big deal. Except I'm going to have to move this because I did the first time around. But it's in the way. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. So, uh, so we're supposed to make an oxygen compressor. Oxy. Makes sense. It's not too bad. Just need a couple of these. I'm not sure how many I have of those, but I think I have a ton. Oh crap! Do I have any aluminum? Plates? I don't. Ah! Okay. There's one thing I decided not to get is that. God dang it. Alright, give me a moment here. I wish there was a way to make this faster. Dang. Okay, we make that, and then we need to make the ox- or collector, sorry, then the compressor. Okay, so. Oxygen. Compressor. Do I have. <laughs> Do I have any? I need bronze. Brown glowing ice. Glowing something ice. Pretty much pooping ice. Okay, so just do that. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Come on, give me some energy. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to mention I upgraded to resident. Ah, uh, there it is. Resonance flap stock, so that's pretty nice. Why did that take a bit to make? But I had enough ender pearls because of it. Or to, to make it and stuff, so. It's pretty easy to make, but just took a while. <clears throat> so let's see. This. So. So the way this thing works is that this thing. Yeah, uh, I actually kind of forgot. Uh, this thing. Looks like it makes the oxygen. The other one actually collects it. I can. I don't know. So, well, actually, yeah, this thing does collect the oxygen in the air and stuff, whatever. And then this thing sucks it up, and then we can use it to put in our tanks. So that's how it's gonna go. So there's the energy. Oops, I got this wrong. Now we put this guy on top, and then right here. God dang it! I, I kept doing that in the last recording, just do that. <laughs> kept putting the wrong side. Okay, and then we get that side in there. And that side in there. There we go. There we go! Okay, cool. 
As you can tell, I'm so freaking tired. I'm acting so weird. Okay, so we got that going. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm just gonna get a better oxygen tank because they're not hard to make. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to do it. I have to fill it up either way. Anyways, but I am gonna make another medium tank. Tank. So I'm gonna have to make another. Or not another, I'm gonna have to make a, uh, uh, sheep or animal farm. I need to do that so I can get wool and, and some other stuff, too. And it should be almost done. There you go. Let's get that thing done already. <clears throat> While we wait for these things to fill up, actually, never mind. I was gonna talk about Pokemon Go, but then it's like, not much happened, but. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason there's a weird glitch going on that has yet to be fixed. Uh, like there isn't a glitch in the fucking game, jeez. Uh, but, no, the footsteps. The footsteps, the game, where you're able to, uh... Okay, when, you're, when there's a Pokemon nearby, uh, and there's a little, uh, indicator telling you where it is. Uh, there's footsteps, or what, it's in the area. The footstep beneath the Pokemon tells you how far you are. Uh, I think three steps says that you're about like a kilometer away, I think. And then the third step is, uh, less than a kilometer. I don't remember what the, how much was. I think the, and the one step means you're like a f couple feet or something. I don't know. Something like that. And when there's none, you're pretty much right next to it. That's not happening. It's just staying on three steps, even if you're right next to it and it appears on the, on the, on the game. And it's so frustrating. I've missed so many Pokemon that I've yet to catch because of that. Oh god, I wish they would fix that already, man. It's all frustrating! Okay, so... For some reason we got oak leaves. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the last recording. I'm gonna use these things here. Yep, I made it into a Christmas tree, because I have no idea what else to use these for. I have no freaking clue why he want- <laughs> Why he wanted to give me freaking leaves. You're so weird. Okay. I already got that done. Now we can make the heavy oxygen tank, which takes red wool. Okay, we got a second compressor. Did you really think this through, dude? Seriously. You make me make this last quest, and now you're giving me another one. Okay, whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna probably have to make another one regardless in the future anyways, once I'm in the... Once I'm in outer space, so I guess it's not much of a deep, big deal. I wonder if leaves are used to make oxygen. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Okay, so get a protection. We we're about to do this, but then I ended up my computer ended up just falling into whatever. I don't know. So we gotta make thermal padding. Craft the tier one thermal suit. This is needed when you when going to any of the plants because of the extreme temperatures. If you don't. If you don't, you could take damage, which could lead to death. And that's pretty much what happens when you take too much damage, you die. So yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> God, I'm such a dickhead. Okay, so let's make these uh, pieces of armor. Okay, so how much this cost? Freaking wool! Okay. Uh, let's get my shear. Alright, I'll be right back. I need to uh, use some sheet. Some of these sheep haven't even, like, gained their wool yet. Give me more than one, please. I would appreciate it. And there we go, the leggings. Well, that took a while. Jeez. Alright. It's sensor glasses. I have no idea what that's supposed to do. Whoa. That's so cool. Why does my vision get, like, Nero, Nero, and then it's just like lights out. That's so weird. Parachute. Alright, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I don't know what I stopped. I. God dang it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Alright, why don't we just finally continue off here, 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 here. We're supposed to be making a parachute. Okay. I'm definitely not gonna get. Tier 2 thermal plating yet, since it protects me from thermal, or it protects me from infected gas protection. 
Hopefully the first planet we come across isn't gonna have that. If so, I'm gonna have to go shearing a ton of sheep and stuff. So, let's make that parachute. I should have enough. And yes, we do. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna get a pay. No. no, just no. <laughs> Eating space. That looks like a piece of poop, doesn't it? Looks like a swirly poop. Why? Okay, eat craft. Five of each of the different types of can of food. Normal food would work just fine, but this food is more suited towards space environments. Okay. okay. Let's try that out. Okay, can. Was it dehydrated apple? Okay. Should be able to have like freaking full stack of that. All right, I'm gonna actually craft some more of these. Just in case. Okay, he wants us to make dehydrated carrots. So I have no idea if we have or how much we have. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna have to go uh, <laughs> grab some from here. By the way, if you're wondering what that sound is in the background, that is my fan. It is so freaking hot outside, so I had to close my windows and turn on my fan. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Just gotta deal with it. Like I'm dealing with it right now. Normally I have it off, but yeah. Oh great, I'm gonna have to make melon. I don't have any melons. I had a whole. I think it. Apparently there was a villager that was selling some melon seeds, so I had to deal with that. Plus I got a, got a ton of emeralds from that uh, quarry thing, so I just had to use that. So yeah, ended up growing a ton of this stuff. Thank God for the watering can. And all that good stuff. Alright, so let's just make about five of these. I want to grow these. <laughs> Alright. Got a food and potatoes. I, yeah, didn't think we have potatoes in here. Alright, cool. We got that. We have rewards of this. We got a strawberry, a marshmallow, <laughs> a light blue candy cane, and a reward bag. Let's get marshmallows. No, let's get candy canes. Why not? Oh my goodness. It's for the crappy reward bag. Where did, where's the other one? Don't I get like two? Yeah, I get like two. Where's the other one? All right, cool. That was weird. All right, so the next thing we need to do is create, wait. Let me, <gasps> we unlocked the exploring the universe. First, let's see what we have to do here. Um, how much, well, we actually have quite a bit to do it still. Um, what? Jeez. Okay, creating a small base with oxygen, you will need to take the oxygen collector surround them with leaves. That's why you gave me leaves. Okay. <laughs> well, that does make sense. I mean, trees or plants, pretty much, and plants give up give all oxygen and stuff. So, I I get it. This will supply the oxygen bubble distributor with an oxygen supply. The oxygen bubble will di the oxygen bubble distributor will create a bubble around the machine that will give you oxygen when you when you're within the bubble. Use the basic solar panel to power these machines. Alright. Okay. So to make this machine, we're lagging. Thankfully I made a ton of these before I started recording, so I need to make this basic way for oh my god. Did I used to have this machine? Swear to God, I remember being able to make these wafers and stuff. Oh, I do. Okay, I'm thinking like I remember having this somewhere. Okay, so I just need a diamond. Actually, two. Silicon, pretty much raw or just normal silicon redstone and a redstone torch. Okay. Okay, redstone torch, and there we go. Cool. 
This takes quite a bit though, jeez. I need to make one more oxygen vent. Uh, okay, thank you. Buy them. Okay, cool. Got that, I'm gonna put some of these things away. I should probably put some, uh, no point. Okay, so we got that. I need to make a solar panel. All right, solar panel. Pretty much this is the advanced one too. How much is the advanced one? And we needed everything else to wait for. It's so weird how you need to make the wafers though. Um, heavy aluminum wire. I need more wool. Jeez. Um, I think I might just hold out on that because I'm. I just don't have. I don't have a lot of. Uh, wool, you know. So, uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna actually get two stacks of these since I'm tired of having to make these. So you go out so quickly. So I'll be right back again. And there we go. Basic solar panel. It's just one of them. Uh, we'll collect energy from the sun, store in it for further use. Collects most energy at midday. Okay. So uh, I want to make an energy cell so we can store this stuff here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got solar panel. So uh, let's see. You said that I should surround. Surround them with leaves. Okay, you need to take an oxygen collector and surround them with leaves. Okay, so that's what these leaves were for. I thought he just randomly just gave me leaves just because why not? My bad. I don't know where they went, but I'm getting them now. Um, I'm gonna bring some oak wood logs with me too because these leaves need to be surrounded by it or so they don't despawn. Of course, that doesn't happen up in space, but let's do that just to be sure. And I think that's how it works, right? Okay, so we got that. Um, we can make turrets. Okay, defend the disposable. Uh, sending cargo supplies. Craft a cargo loader and unloader and launch and two launch controllers. Each side of the cargo system, you will need to have a loader, or unloader, and a fuel loader, and one launch controller. Each side will also need to be chunk loaded for for the cargo cargo rocket to work. Okay. Okay. So the first machine, the cargo loader. Cargo. Oh man. So this is pretty much how we're gonna fly in space is by these things, okay. Like that. I need another one. Got that. Okay, cool. Now we need a launch controller. Ah! How do we get this? Th isn't this something that you can only get on other planets? How in the world am I supposed to get this stuff? Are you kidding me? Unless of course it's a- No there isn't! <laughs> I wasn't looking at the wrong machine. I am not! Fuel loader. Oh, we got that. Okay, so how the hell do I get this? A launch controller. How do I how the hell do I get the dash? Whatever the hell this thing is called. Okay, since we can't get dash ingots or whatever to make the launch controller. Ah, I don't know. It's weird. So let's just get to this one here. We have to make a NASA workbench. It's kind of interesting. NASA workbench. Ooh, cool. And we still okay. Oh, I thought it was dash ingots, but that was steel. And bam, cool. Oh man, this thing looks so cool. Not enough room. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. Okay. All right, cool. We got that. Oops. A couple of display screens. <gasps> 
That is so cool. Look at that, guys. <laughs> wow. I can... Ooh. Look at all the freaking planets we can go to. What is that one? Is that like a planet of water? I have no clue. What is that? Poop? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a rolling fucking dirt in space. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put my display screen right here. I'm gonna get more of these in the future though, but this is where it's going. Let's keep it here. I feel like this is a satellite. God, this is I oh this mod is so freaking cool. Alright, get in fuel. So craft two buckets and then look for oil located on the surface of the overworld. Craft two buckets of oil after craft a refinery, which you will then need to fill a canister with fuel using a refinery or with fuel at ah, using a refinery. Ah. After that, craft a fuel loader which will allow you to load fuel into the rocket. Cool. Okay. So we need buckets. Do we have oh we have like three in here. Uh not BC refinery, the galactic one. So alright, so we need copper canisters. Super easy. A furnace. And there we go. Sweet. Okay. I'm running out of room here to put stuff. <laughs> Why is this not connected? Uh is the input on the bottom? It is it's on the top, actually. Man, I hate these machines. They're so freaking dumb, I swear. The way they, like, get the... The way you have to put the freaking conduits on here, it's so dumb. And pointless, too. I'm sorry for the like, complaining and stuff. Seriously. What is the point of this crap? <laughs> All it does is just aggravate the player. Okay. Constantly. Okay. Okay, so we put our bucket in here. Bam. Put that all in here. Okay. How much? Okay, it's making the fuel. This is. Alright, alright. Cool. I see. I should have brought a tank with me, actually. Okay, cool. I just setting it in there. Awesome. I wish there was a way to speed this up, but there isn't. Oh my god, we have a lot in here, though. Pretty much 20 buckets at the end of this, I think. Alright, sweet. And we have, like, 14 buckets left in here. Awesome. Okay. So what else do we have to do here? So, uh, okay, filled canister of fuel. Filled... Oh, okay. I didn't know how to make these. Okay. I'll get quite a few of these here. And then I think if we just throw it in there, there we go. Cool. Apparently, this is equals a bucket. So, got to, there's another bucket in here. Awesome. Okay, we almost have a bucket again. There we go. You know, I wonder if there is a. Uh, I don't have coal in here. Weird. Um. Is this done yet? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, by the way, side note. You can get three shiny ingot per craft from the QED if you I'll put it in here with coal. And it's, you get pretty much, tri you pretty much triple your shiny ingots instead of, uh, grinding it. <coughs> instead of grinding it. I'm guessing we're going to need that for the rocket. Okay. Building the tier one rocket. Okay, cool. Well. Let me do that. Okay, so let's see what's the. Oh man, this is gonna be quite the bit. Uh, rockets. Tier one rocket. Okay, so the first thing we need to make is the nose cone, which requires heavy. Well, rest one torch, heavy duty plate, which requires bronze, compressed bronze, compressed aluminum, and steel. Well, that's. Yeah. Be sure to get the electric compressor. Have a lot better. Uh, cargo rockets. Oh man, this, I'm gonna be making a ton of videos off of this. This is awesome. So that's the first thing, and then we need yet more heavy duty plates. 
and then a rocket fins, and then a rocket engine. What's this take? Same thing. Okay. Oh my god. This is going to take a while for those things. But of course I'm not ready for that. And then the the engine part is a flint and steel, a button, a tin canister, oxygen vent, and more heavy duty plates. So. Alright. Oh boy. Let me get a ton of these and then I'll be right back. That's 24 buckets. That's actually quite a bit. So, anyways, I ended up making a ton more electric compressor so I don't have to wait for this thing to be done with its stack and stuff. So, it's just. Holy crap! But, I have enough. enough stuff to actually make. They have a duty plating. So, we should have a crap ton of this stuff coming in. Um, let's go back to markets. Let's see, so we need a redstone torch. Oh cool. So this is what so this is what so these are what these things are for. Okay. Cool. Um oh yeah. The other parts are just too are really easy to make. Well I should have a ton of those by now. Um flip and steel. Let's make another one just in case. A button. Uh, man! So yeah, I have to make the things first, and then put it in here. Okay, what am I doing here? God dang. So, I have to wait for these things to come in. I think I can just simply take these, yeah. Okay, one of that. Make a ton of these, like four. nose cone and pretty much eight heavy duty plates Arg. <laughs> been selected for some reason and then we can finally make um how about I have this in the ground Because it looks like there's a uh, little block on the bottom there. All right, there, we, there we go. That looks a little bit more proper. Okay, let's finally make this thing. Okay, so one there. The fins. Put the plates. And there we go. A tier one rocket. Whoa, what the... Oh my god, it's on top of me. Okay. Confused there for a second. I think I did a little bit of an overkill with the heavy duty plates, but it's alright. <laughs> it's good to have a little bit of extra. Okay, so now that we got our rockets, let's see. Heavy, okay, rocket launch pad, okay. Build a space station, so create and, tr create and travel to an overworld space station. To create the space station, you'll need 16 aluminum ingots, 32 tin ingots, 42 iron ingots and a 1 advanced wafer that travel to the space station. Why are you giving me a Western jetpack? When you just gave me a fucking ring of flight. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. Sometimes these rewards this guy gives you is just really don't make a lot of sense. Okay. Um, I think I might have my launch pad over here. Pretty flat. Pretty cool. Alright. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to have this in the 3x3. So, launch pads will allow placement of rockets if set up in a 3x3 square. Fuel loaders, cargo loaders, and a launch controller can be, can be attached. Okay, fuel loaders. Okay. Cool. What does it mean by be attached? Okay, I uh, had to read a little bit. Apparently, that uh, once we launch into space, we will be able to. Uh, sorry, I was just here. We will be able to uh, 
uh, get the option to create a space station once we launch into space. So that's why we have these this stuff with us. Okay, so no. Oh, I almost went into space. Oh, okay, like that. All right, let me. No. Okay, so I need power. God dang it! I'm I'm gonna have to make a friggin' tesseract. Hold on, hold on a second. Is there such an enchantment called Soulbound I can get from the uh, these scrolls here? Let me check. So, soul steel. <gasps> oh my God! You guys have no clue how awesome that is. Sweet. Now, if I put Soulbound on this bag of holding. I can save whatever I want and not lose the items, or I mean, I can put all the stuff in here and not lose it when I die, because it'll be in my inventory because it's soul bound. So, except a cat. Uh, that was a waste of time. Okay, whatever. That was a good theory, but well, if I got a book, I can still do it. I can just use an anvil. Cool. I forgot I had one. Okay, here we go. And then prevents items from being lost on death. So if I store my stuff in here, everything in the bag will be safe because I have it in my inventory when I died. Or after I died. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't see it shining, but whatever. Hmm, weird. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have my legs on. I can't stand walking so slow. <laughs> okay, so now we can finally get this started. Um, I can. I have to make a frequency. God dang it! All right, so we got that. Um, target vehicles empty. Okay, so these things only work because will only work because this this rocket here, if it ever has a chest in it, well, these will work. So. There we go, unloader. So, I think we're pretty much good to go here. So, I don't know what's gonna happen once we launch. So, I'm just gonna take these off. Okay, oh, okay cool. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so let's see here. So, we put away our stuff. We put away my power fist because I freaking lost it somewhere. Um, put away that. I think we're good to go, guys. Put away that too. Oh, and my sleeping bag as well. I keep leave. I keep losing that too, which is aggravating. Okay, <laughs> okay. So let's do this. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> wow! Holy crap! There goes the land! Can I still access? Oh, I can! Oh, cool, I can take my stuff off while I'm lifting off. Alright. This is so cool, I can't get over it. <laughs> um Okay, so I have fuel left. We should have enough just to get to the moon, hopefully. That's where we're going, so uh hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Again if I die everything is gonna be inside my golden bag. So Ah uh -huh. Oh okay. Oh my god, so we can go to Mercury, Venus well overworlds the Earth, obviously. Mars Asteroids? Is that what that floating piece of poop is for? Saturn, Uranus, U Neptune, I'm not gonna say Uranus, that's that's the improper way to call it that. I know it's funny, but it's not the right way to call it. It's not the 
proper way to call it. Uh, Neptune and Pluto. So this is all the planets we can visit. These are, wow. We're gonna have a, there's a lot longer adventure here. Um, what is that? I want to go to the moon. That space station can be created here. What the? Well, click again to zoom in, view moon with the satellites. I want to go here. Well, uh, first, um, let's go back. Okay, let's uh create a station. Let's see what happens then. Station. Can I go there? That's a satellite. What am I talking about? Again, I'm totally new to this. I have no clue what I'm doing. Click again to zoom. Launch. Okay, if we head back to Earth, that's fine. I can get more fuel again and then launch into the air. Uh, station. Can we go there? Let's go there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, apparently we got our own space station. Can I go down? Okay, I finally was able to land. Oh my god, this is so cool. Get down! Okay, it seems like shift is to go down. I probably have a need a frequency model if I want to hear properly. Okay, so. Here's uh, the stuff we can use again to get back home. Okay, cool. Tin decorated block. Okay, so I can pretty much do whatever I want with this area. Okay. Um. Yeah, we have two large or heavy tanks, I guess. Okay. A frequency model. Is this, is that actually a thing? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. That was that's not too much to make. You can receive weak sound waves and distant signals. Okay. Holy crap! This is so hard to control. Okay, <laughs> um, let's see, does this angel wing still work? Oh my god, it does! <laughs> oh, hey, there's Earth. No! <laughs> hmm. Oh, if I fall, oh. <laughs> oh. Did I... Hey, cool! It'll look like a... <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. We. <laughs> oh, look at all the models waiting for me at home. Okay. Hey, guys. I still have it. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Okay. So, that was the first time ever going into space. That was cool. Uh, the only, the farthest we got was getting to the space station. That's as far as we got. Um, where's my quest book? There it is. Okay, I knew I had it in here somewhere. Okay. We haven't reached the moon yet, but soon we will. I just had to be careful. I just, well, this is my first time, so I just had to be careful. Um, so yeah, we were there, but we want to go there. So, but I think that should be it for today, guys. Honestly, I know we didn't get to the moon yet, but I need to do a little bit more prep before we head to the moon because I need a little bit more uh, research on this and stuff. So, <laughs> help is crazy. Um, but yeah, I honestly don't need the parachute because I have the ring of flight or the angel ring, whatever. Um, you want to try out this mod pack out for yourself? You should. If you ever want to try galactic craft, go to space and all that good stuff. This is the mod pack 
you and how cheesy that sounds. Alright, so, <laughs> I didn't want to say that because it sounded so cheesy. Uh, so anyways, this is called, uh, Space Astronomy for 1.7.10, and I'll have the link in the description below for, uh, the FTV launcher, FTV launcher stuff. So anyways, guys, my name is Dude Man, I'll see you guys later. Boy.